I'm Rob Ziemba. I'm out with Chance the Rapper right now doing monitors. I've been with him for a little over a year now. Uh, we've had the SSL for most of the time. We had it out in the fall. I had an L300. Uh, now I'm on the 500. And I know both back here and out front, we, we've been loving it. And it's my first choice at this point. Not just this gig, but any other gig I'll do, it's my first choice, honestly. So I set up my show on the L300 last fall uh, at the office in LA. Uh, Fernando over there, so helpful for me, uh, taught me the desk for one-on-one -on -one couple days. Those guys have been awesome over there. And uh, I set the show up back then. I came back for one day I had off. I was on another gig before this tour. I came in and uh, changed that show into a 500 show and with the extra inputs for this tour. I have downstage wedges. It's split up in two mixes right now. Um, side fills, uh, keyboard sub, drum thumper, and uh, there's uh, there's eight people on stage. They're all on ears. Um, I have mixes going to video. I have uh, mixes going to text. Um, and with some of the guests, it can really be a lot of mixes, but. Uh, it's never gotten cluttered the way you can uh, lay it out. I've, you would have thought I'd get buried in inputs and outputs, but um, it's never happened on this desk. There's a few features like the swap thing is cool for me. Uh, I have all the vocals on this side. I keep all the music stuff, all the tracks and like keyboards and the horn. Uh, kind of keep that here. I have all my outputs here. So I just you know select an out, all the music's here. Vocals are here. But I have this swap button, so if we're at a festival, I can hit the swap button, and now I have up, I have like 10 uh, wireless mics here, just all in an order, ready to go. So, you know, if they say, oh, there's gonna be four guests coming out, I can just hit the swap button, flips it over, it's all here. And they go off stage after the song, and I can go back to my uh, regular vocal page. Um, uh, without having to like fish through the uh, different like layers that are here. It's awesome. I think for me the favorite feature about this desk um, is that the way they set it up is really kind of how you need to work nowadays. This is, you can drag things around with your finger, EQ things with your finger. There's no limitations on what you can do. I kind of feel like other, uh, other console companies as great as they are, there's always one or two things that you can't do. And it's almost, it reminds me of how like the iPhone is, looks the same for the past 10 years and they keep releasing new versions and it's the same. Uh, I feel like console companies are kind of the same way where it's like, oh, you have a new desk, a new operating system, but it still kind of looks like it came out 10 years ago. And this feels fresh to me like they thought about everything that you need to do. Um, in our world, what people expect different things than they expected 10 years ago. And this is ready to, um, to deal with any of it. It's a fresh layout and fresh surface. You can do whatever you want with it. There's no limitations. It can do everything you want. I don't think there's any other consoles that can actually do everything you want. There's always one or two things. People love their other desks, but there's always one or two other things that you wish it could do, you know, without having to take, you know, like, yeah, let me, I can set that up for you, but it'll just give me a couple, like five or 10 minutes. So you, this, you can just do it and not have to stop the musicians do, from doing what they need to do. Everyone needs to work all the same, you know, everyone needs to do what they got to do at the same time. So it, it lets me allow them to do what they got to do while I can work at the same time. It's great. I got snapshots going on now. Uh, so I scope the tracks and uh, some of the keyboards. Um, not a lot going on, but just track volumes and uh, EQ changes for different songs. Uh, there's some songs that are really track heavy and if the band's playing over it, you know, I'll different EQ changes, pull some low mids out and things like that. Um, the Q buttons here, the query, when we have the guest, it happened last week at Governor's Ball, uh, we had Ty Dolla Sign come out as a guest, 
and uh, you know he wanted to hear his mix before he went on on stage with the band was playing so you know I hit the cue button on uh, his vocal and take it out of everyone's ear mixes so that he can check his and as soon as he's uh, ready to go out just get him back to all the mixes and uh, he's good to go you know and really fast and easy I like the tube option on the compression uh, a few weeks ago we had a bass guitar I popped the tube button on the compression and it was just like oh like night and day um, so I'll have that on the keyboards and the the uh, the Moog Voyager as well and it's awesome it adds like a like a color like spatial subtly but it's it's really cool so I definitely do use that I might have it on a few vocals as well I have to look yeah and this desk on top of everything else it sounds great it's got all the best qualities of uh, other desks picking and choosing what you like about other desks it's all there um, it's musical not uh, not overly colored but it's it's musical and uh, other desks I might have to clock or something sometimes I don't there's no need for that in this it just it sounds great it's clear uh, first time I heard it uh, rehearsals last year it was just it's immediate when you put the ears on it's just so nice, you know? It just sounds nice. <laughs>